Or what? No, I think you should still stay, but I just... You can still do it. All right, later, doing... Scott. No. Are you doing the part where you're copying the vape team? Well, I, actually, I'm not. We're on screen, so... Bye, Scott. <laughs> oh, lordy. So... Hopefully, you have a longer intro than Mark does on Sunday. Here we go. I need you to carry the show a little bit. I'm trying to do that a little bit. Why is it... Like... See, that's... Dude. There we go. There we go. What is going on, folks? It is the True Vapor Show number 180. Yes, 180. We Oops. are we're live with Mr. TBC, if you say on here tonight. He has been he's been pretty busy here out in the uh, workshop, so we're going to get down and busy with this, but first of all, first of all, happy new year to everybody. And damn it, I'm just fixing to say, take it away, Mark, and look what Mark does. I'm still here. Well, all right. Baby, Let baby. me try this. Take it away, Mark. All right. We got the... Can we show it yet? Dude, you were just in chat on my introduction video. I think it's safe to say that it's... No, you can't. I... Oh, we can't. Okay. Can't Actually, stop. I don't want you talking about it. There it is, folks. No, we... you can't show it. It hasn't been revealed yet. The triple top side. With the uh, drop V2 on top, we got the Q, Orion Q, or is this the Q? Or is this the other one? That's the Q, there you go. Holy Q, we got the Air Jordan mod with the, uh, oh, what tank is this? I don't know what fucking tank it is, but it's one of those mesh tanks. We got another Q. What else is laying around? We got this right here. I'm not vaping on it, but it's sitting there. <laughs> and we also got... One of those bad boys, the whatchamacallit, the the Nord. And we got this ugly son of a bitch. <coughs> this is wow. hideous looking. Well let's uh let's take one second. Uh thank you for the donation there, Mr. Bob Ellis. Happy New Year, S2. Well, happy New Year to you, sir. Take it away again, Mark. Happy New Year. Uh we got some ghost stick and we got some um, whatchamacallit. Uh the sponsor of the show right there. Wah, wah. What is it? What is this called? Why do you read it? Dude, if they're sponsored of the show, read it. I don't know what the... What is it? I can't read the handwriting. It's Brad's New Liquid. Uh, something... Exclusive Custard Something. What is this? <sighs> you serious, man. Something Reserve Something. Come on, Camelot, bro. Camelot, Dude, there we go. Camelot E-Liquid. You have a craft uh, magnifying glass right in front of you. No, I can see the writing. It just said... I don't can like you, the handwriting. You can't read cursive? No, I could read cursive, but I don't like the cursive that's on this spot. It's not a foreign fucking language, Mark. <laughs> it's very foreign to me, you son of a bitch. We've been vaping on that stuff for, what, easily two years now? Yeah, and no, you still and haven't that, figured it out? Is it written in Braille? <laughs> I want a label that's got big letters, simple words, that's like in a, black and white. Like a jitterbug phone. And a bunch of money. Like, that says, like, Apple, just in big letters. And it's called Apple. And that's it. Mm. Thank you. Take it away, Mr. Uh, TVC. You definitely play to the game, the rules of the lowest common denominator. That's what I'm saying. I'm vaping on Apple by the E-Juice guys. <laughs> uh, let me get this in real quick. Thank you for the donation there, Mr. Gregory Brown, Lil Wayne, Lil John. Just to interrupt Mark. That's why I did it. <laughs> You're a little late, you son of a bitch, because I'm done. <laughs> Woo-hoo! Fancy bastard. Is it my turn? I think so. It is. Well, tonight I'm going to be chewing on some Orbit gum, Bubble Mint. Nice. There you go. If you've ever had Bubble Mint, Orbit, sponsored, by the way. Well, dude, is anything not sponsored anymore? I mean, let's get real. Uh, I'm also vaping on... Dun, 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 dun. Can't show that yet. I, I, I can do whatever I want. Look at that fucking bottle. That. Um, yeah, topside duel. That's what I'm. That's what I'm vaping today. That's all I have in front of me. I had to clean off my desk to make space so I could actually film and not go out of my mind. Because if you heard in the video, I knocked my whole entire desk over, <laughs> so I had to relocate some stuff because it was getting a little bit imposing on me. So we'll take it away, Mike. Well, thank you for making me take it away. <laughs> take it away. <laughs> uh, topside. Dual, Rebirth. 
rudder this engine Venticator Rebirth Citadel Ultim Gloom and a special mod right here. There it is. With a couple of sexy guys on the mod. Whoa! HP mod with the goat. Take it away, ST. Thank you. Thank you. Tonight, I'm going to keep it simple like Mr. TVC over there. Top side duel. Still rocking a prototype because Brian doesn't believe in sending us the real deal with the drop <laughs> bed. <laughs> uh, and a couple of pods. And I'm rocking some coffee cake from Camelot there. So... First of all, big shout out to the sponsors, uh, Camelot and Brad's. Thank you. They are still hanging tight with me for the new year. So, uh, but the big news is, and folks are saying they can't hear me. Let me bring you up. Let me bring it up a little bit. The big news is, is Mr. TVC over there just released the Topside Duel. Oops. Wow, well, I'm gonna have to keep. But I've had mine for like six months now. He just released it today? I, I don't know. You're going to have to ask him about it. Uh, thank you for the donation there from our lawyer, Mr. Tom H. I wish there would be a topside duel. Come on, Brian, start designing. So that is from Tom. He's hoping that you could hook everybody up with one of those. But he's not going to do it tonight. <laughs> Brian's really like deep into. Fun. I'm sorry, I got my messages just blowing up with messages from all over the place, Scott. So I'm gonna have to leave. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so if I'm looking down on my phone, it's not that I'm I'm zoning out, but I know I'm you, zoning out. You just released a big video, and I'm certain the questions are just flowing. Yeah, they're popping out. a lot. But people should be watching this show because they can answer it directly. You know, we can sit here and talk about this. So Yeah. Well, you guys have actually had the top side duel for shit. A couple of months now, I think. A couple right? of months, right? Yep. Um, I, we set out the first round of prototypes probably in no, early November, maybe. And um, there's been firmware updates and feedback and stuff like that. And we made some changes, but yeah, it's been a while. I always like to have you guys test stuff before I send it out on the market. The only thing is, is that with people like Mark, where he'll send me messages saying that my living room just burnt down, I can never trust his feedback. Wow. That was not me, thank you. That was Andrew. I think that was Andrew. He did say something about his shit blowing up or something like that. but I was complaining about my battery door popping open and losing my batteries on the highway. Wow. So... <laughs> <laughs> Can y'all not hear me at all? I hear you fine. I think people are used, so used to hearing you like big and loud that they're not used to the... I think he's loud. Okay. I mean, you guys sound fine to me. Okay. Well, I, I don't know. Yeah, it is. It's, it's <clears throat> been, I've been on that blunt trip right there, so that shit's on down. Anytime you get off of work, you hit them blunts hard, Scott. I haven't been to work today, though, so I guess it's been like a all-week thing. So. Well, when you're off work, that's what happens. That is true. I have changed some stuff up. I've kind of changed mic positioning, so yeah, I'm not blasting at you because it seems like half the time it used to be well, I can't hear him, and now it's like he's talking way too loud, and now I'm back to the point of no one can barely hear me, so I don't know what to do here. But uh, everybody's saying sounds good, sounds good. Okay, well, cool, cool. Why is Brian wearing AirPods? You're wearing AirPods? Uh, I was wearing AirPods earlier. What are you? I wear it? Oh, I am. <laughs> oh, my God. I didn't even know I had them in. Wow. He's fucking talking to somebody while he's on the show talking to us. I'm recording, actually, what's being said through the headphones. Yes, he is. We, got, no. we got two shows going on at once. So. I enrolled Mark into a special study that studies idiots. <laughs> and I'm recording his every word. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Oh my god! I'm gonna go to the feed and see if ST sounds low. Cause in Zoom right now, he doesn't sound low. And if he's not, if he doesn't sound low. Yeah. If I don't sound low, y'all crank your volume up. 
Yeah, ST, you should just tap out, man. You've done well, man. You've done good. I, I guess I've done everything I can in this business, so yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, shit. <laughs> well, it's been fun, Scott. Thanks for having me. Good good luck to you. Thank you. Uh, congratulations on that new device. And uh, I've already got yeah. the newer one he was talking about. Uh, we'll, we'll be showing that here in just like a day or so. so. Yeah. <laughs> What's it sound like, Mark? You're soft spoken. Like we're louder than you are okay. because you're talking softly. I'm not I'm talking a normal voice here. Well they're used to fucking Hey there folks, fucking ST here. <laughs> okay. Well y'all are gonna have to uh y'all are gonna have to figure it out. ST, let me give you a little bit of help. Um, there's something called a diaphragm, right? Yep. So you need to breathe in. Let's do some breathing exercises. So in through the nose. Long and slow. Hold your, the breath. Hold the breath. Your mic arm extend closer to you or no? Out through the mouth. Release. Does that sound better? Yes. See? Breathe an exercise. Just there you point go. Point it up towards your mouth, like point it up sideways. I guess I'm going to have to. I didn't yeah, like want that. to. There you go. I didn't <laughs> want to. Now it sounds or, like you're talking to the bottom of the toilet. Or put it upright and then just lower it. ST. Go. The settings on the mic on which way to grab your voice. So you might have it set to grab straight ahead into the mic instead look, of the side of the mic. Let so. me look and see what I got going on here. Also, changing the angle of the wall behind you couldn't cause uh, like a uh, disruption in the reverberation of the room. What does that sound so way, like? I mean, you oh, sound more uh, hollow tonight, no. more echo. I would put it, keep it on the third setting. Yep. You, got it, you got the mic back. Wait, you got it backwards right now. You know that, right? Hmm. I'm letting it hang upside down. I know, but you're talking into the back of the mic. Oh, shit. Hold on. I didn't spin it the right way. <laughs> Let's see. We'll eventually get this going, folks. I think he just... What about that? Make sure yeah. USB cord. I see it kind of bent right there. Yeah, it is. All right, now take off your shirt. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get it. Yeah. Whoa, whoa. Hey, folks. Scott? Can, we, can you hear me? There we go. Yeah, but it's... it's yeah, you, you want to keep it on the third setting. It is on the third setting. Damn it, you know what? Third from the front, Scott, not third change the, the title of the show tonight to... <gasps> oh my gosh. You know what? He just went offline. <laughs> <laughs> he deserves this, because he fucking gets on everybody. I do. Yeah. I'm done. What, what about that? What about that now? That's, That's much better. Yeah. Okay. We're, we're going to roll like that tonight then. Dadgummit. I got shit all over now. Oh, Lord. Wow, you hear that echo? Musa. Mm -hmm. Musa. Just don't touch the table anymore, Scott. It sounds like you're playing like Hold hollow on. steel drums. Hold on. Well, fuck it. If everyone's messing with their mics... Is that too close? If you there have it on every go. setting but the third setting, it's going to pick up all the audio in the room. We are good right now, I think. There you go. You're perfect. We are good. Lord knows I try something else, and this is what happens. So anyway, yeah. so let's start let's it back those, over. Take it, let's get those thumbs up, folks. Take it away, Mark. Uh, I got the Michael Jordan mod with the shit tank. <laughs> All right, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. We ain't doing like what we did the other night. Oh, Lord. Yeah, so I guess I've been off work way too long. How about resolutions, Scott? Any New Year's resolutions? Yes. Uh, I'm going to start. I'm going to start smoking more, I think. How about That's yours? Uh, I made a resolution like five years ago, and it was to never make another resolution ever again. And I stuck with it for five years. Good job. What about you, Mark? Uh, go back to my diet, but I had pizza for lunch. <laughs> so you already started off pretty bad. Yep. What about you, Mike? No resolutions. None. Yeah. I think it's time to break resolutions. That's what we need to do. Yes. Well, Heavy's been messing with the settings on my stuff. 
Heavy's, Heavy's the only one that's supposed to be having issues with the uh, audio crap, but anyway, all good, all good. So, Brian, when can folks get their hands on this new device of yours? Uh, Dabo had given me a date of the 15th, but they're, they, they've they been shipping them out already, so I think it's going to be before that. I think they're going to be arriving places at the end of this week. Sweet. So, it should be soon. I know I've had some folks ask me questions and like other chats about certain little details about it. Oh my God. And, uh, I pretty much just don't respond because I was waiting for Brian to do his thing before even somebody, I think had asked me about batteries and I wasn't going to say anything until Brian did his thing. And then it'd be like, okay, now we're cool. But, um, Brian just did a awesome video, detailed video on that right there. So, uh, if you didn't get a chance to check it out, which I'm sure most of y'all did, go check it out after the show goes off. How do you know it was detailed? You didn't watch the damn thing. I did, dude. I was sitting here with y'all watching this stuff. You were gone half the time. Well, I did go eat real quick, but yeah, I was. <laughs> it was pretty damn good though. Thank you. What I've seen. <laughs> uh, so, Mark. I heard you were getting a tattoo from Dove Poe on your chest. That is true. Were you showing off where it's going to be at? Yep. Right above my right titty. Nice. Maybe a big D for Dove Poe. So I'm curious what, I'm not going to ask Brian yet, but we'll start with Marky Poo. What's been your experience so far with the dual opposed to the single top side? I love the dual. I've been using it every day. My only issue that I've had with it, but it is a prototype, was the battery door. Like, it's way too sensitive. But yeah. they fixed that. So, aside from that, I've been enjoying this a lot more than the uh, single for the battery life. And it's just more comfortable in the hands. Yeah. And a little extra power. You get, well, a lot extra power out of it. Now I can actually go up to 95 watts or 100 watts. True. But what about you, Mike? No comments. <laughs> Mike hasn't used it yet. Yeah, I don't Mike, even have the mod. How am I going to comment on Mike Good job, Brian. Mike doesn't need to have I the have single top side. Life. Yes, he's. <laughs> I've been using I've been using those, the one with the roar band. <laughs> I noticed don't somebody know. asked about that in the video. <laughs> the the rubber came, band version's better than the, the yeah. one that I came up with. Hell yeah. I like the roar band one. You can vape two different flavors at the same time. The price point is awesome on it too, because you pretty much stay in line with the other one, just yeah. like, like a few dollars more, isn't it? Yeah, it's pretty close. I mean, right now there's even sales that I've seen for like seventy one ninety nine, which is pretty awesome. I don't know if they're allowed to do that by Dopo, but it is what it is, and it's okay. on there. So now, will a single one uh, drop in price? I I don't know. I mean. Mike, you know more than anybody. Like prices drop usually when the demand drops, right? And people have inventory. I have no comment on the situation. Okay, thank you. Did you pay Mike? I think, I think they're underpricing the mod big time, in my opinion. Yeah, how could it release cheaper than the, the single? Well, I, my V Pro had the, the list price for eighty nine ninety nine on their website. All right. I don't know if that's the Dabpo price or if that whatever, but they they offered like a twenty percent discount code. So, it would seem like you're getting a little bit more out of the dual, of course, than the single. So the price would seem like it. I don't. I'm not somebody that prices anything, but it seemed like it would maybe be a little bit more. But yeah, yeah. Should, well, technically, it should be more than what the single was. But uh, anyway, to go back to what you were saying about uh, the mod, I really, there's really nothing to talk about yet. We shouldn't be giving our opinions on it because these are prototypes. True. So by True. saying a battery door, you're just telling people, oh, the battery doors are fucked up. Meanwhile, the release version doesn't have that problem Yeah. that Mark has on his. Or if I have a problem with mine that's been rectified already for the release version, or your problem has been rectified. So it's kind of like pointless to even talk about problems you're just scaring people and starting rumors on stuff that don't exist. So. Thank you, Mark. Going far, folks. Take that, Mark, you son of a bitch. Well, if I had a retail version in my hand, maybe I wouldn't have my battery door problems. Thank you. I think that you'll be uh, having your uh, retail version tomorrow. 
thank you for the donation there, Vape Boy. Much respect to Brian for informing the community about the premium before they bought the duel. We need more transparency like this in the community. <laughs> what does that laugh for, Mark? A Vape Boy is the last one to talk about transparency. <laughs> Uh, I'm not even gonna talk. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna stop now. Just, Mark's on the uh, roll tonight with things. <laughs> Here we uh, go. Uh, yeah. Well, as far as the transparency, I mean, the reason why I said what I said is because I know that you know if you put yourself into the shoes of the consumer, which I buy bait products with my own money and I enjoy buying stuff. Um, if I know something, I have to make. I would want somebody to tell me if there was something coming out within the next month or two, if there was an alternative version of the same device, I would like to know. So I at least have a choice, you know, and I can't release two products at the same time. It's physically impossible to do that. Um, the way production goes, marketing goes and all that kind of stuff. So I'd rather just expose it during this video and maybe I'm going to lose some sales because of it. And maybe I could have gotten sales, but there's no better way to lose consumer confidence than to have people buy a whole bunch of the, the original duels and then get fucked later because the one they really wanted comes out two months later. Now, if somebody knows about it and still wants to get the one that's original and then they buy the second one, that's on them. You know? Uh, thank you for the donation there. That one guy. TVC, will the duel come with 18350 adapters? <laughs> Wow, <laughs> I'm actually working with Fagan Industries right now to come up with double AA, A, triple A, and 18350 adapters. Good idea. Yeah. Get on that. Well, I don't know. I mean, I know for what I've used of this so far, and I think I mentioned it the other night, I've caught myself using the dual more than the single because I do like the higher wattage. Uh, and surprisingly enough, I've gotten to where I like kind of smaller devices, you know, just being on the go or whatever. But I've actually, I mean, of course, this being a little bit bigger, but it still fits my hands good, and I, I just enjoy using it. So, But having that battery life, too, is another good thing. You know, I can take this thing with me to work and really just fill the bottle up once and not even have to take a bottle of juice with me, and, and that gets me through my work day. So. Yeah. But I think it's definitely going to be a another great selling product from you there. Thank yo, you, yo, yo! Scott Zegan in chat. Yo, yo, yo. Uh, I did want to touch on this real quick because we I just heard this little bit of information a little while ago. If Mike wouldn't mind maybe saying it again. If not, we'll leave it be. About the... Uh, a Vupu thing? Uh, yeah, I found out from uh, Vaping with Vic put up a video. I guess uh, Vupu sent a vape device, the drag, to uh, a guy that does non-vaping reviews. Basically paid him to show off, to do like a sponsored thing in the beginning of the video, I guess. And it's a guy that does videos. He's out of the UK. I guess he has over a million subs. I think it was 5 million, if I'm not mistaken. Wow. And his channel is primarily for kids. So Vupu thought it was a great idea to sponsor this guy's channel to show the drag mod. Oh, my so this is... Vupu is just fucking trash, in my opinion, for doing that. I mean... Trash. That, not only that, because if they're, if they're planning on doing that with somebody out of the States... You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's bad enough what we're going through right now with vaping being targeted for kids. Exactly. And Vupu is right there right now, I guess, targeting kids. What's what a bunch of fucking idiots they are. That's fucking nuts. Yep. I mean, just... like, the guy that did the video, like, didn't even, like, he think about this one? I guess, uh, money, baby. Wow. He thought to himself, fuck it, I'm getting paid. Holy shit. I can only imagine, too, which I don't even know the channel that it is, but whatever channel it is, and if he's got that many subs, I can only imagine the money that exchanged hands on something like that. So that's, that's pretty crazy. 
why would you want to dig yourself in a hole? I mean, I don't really want to say why would you want to dig yourself in a hole. Why would you do some stupid shit like that? I mean, do you just want your company to go down? I don't. I think Vupa does, doesn't even... I think they're too stupid to realize it, to be honest with you. They obviously just don't have a damn clue about all anything. They, probably all they've seen was the 5 million subscribers... And they'd like, oh, wow, this guy can do some great advertising for us. Doesn't matter who he's advertising to, but hey. Uh, so Chris says Ben Phillips did the vid. Yeah, that's the guy's name, Ben, ben Phillips. Oh, I gotta look this up after the show. Hey, Mark, can you look him up real quick and see what other stuff he's got on his channel? Let's see. Hey there, Ben Phillips. Put that on channel, buddy. Ben Phillips has almost, well, he's closer to f four million. He's got over four million between four and five. He's <laughs> easy. Oh, yes. Let's see what he's got. What's tip, what, what does this channel seem to be based around? Well, he's got a swap my bros vape juice with helium oxide. He's got Nutcracker Prank, Expose My Bro in a Public Car. I feel like like teenage videos. My puppy pooped a thousand times on my bro. My bro fell on a thousand drawing pins. A lot of bro videos. But he's, he, apparently he's pulling in the younger crowd then. Yeah, like a, oh, hey, oh. Oh, like a, like a teenage crowd of some sort with the bro. Oh, here's the Voopoo video. Yep, you showing it off, all right. How many views has it got on it? It's got 422,597. Wow. Oh, well. I guess there was a big something that Vic said was that, I don't remember who it was, but somebody's 10-year-old that watches the channel told their parents that they want a Voopoo, or what is a Voopoo, and they think it's cool and they want one. That's so jacked up. Because of him. Because that guy's showing it off on that. Jacked up. Uh, Gregory Brown. I have not tried the Kylan 2 yet. Uh, I think Mike is the only one in here that's had a chance to mess with that one. Uh, this, yeah, this is crazy. Uh, Kylan 2 Oh, Kim's saying that he added helium to his friend's e-juice. Which I think I just heard you say that. Yeah, which sounds a little stupid to me, but hey. Oh, Lord. Uh, oh, he's 25 years old. Eh? He's what? He's 25 years old. But his videos look like they cater to a younger crowd. They're very kind of like bro-ish. Well, kind of what a pool dicks. Uh, real quick, thank you for the donation, there, Robert Young. He says, "I'm assuming that he's saying butt naked with sugar love, you guys." Hashtag Uncle Phil vapes. Thank you, there. Yeah. I China, I don't think all they care about is like numbers. If you have a lot of subscribers, it don't matter if you're 12 years old or 60 years old. If you can get their product out there, they'll send it to you. That's yeah. how. That's how idiotic they are. They don't know better. Some of them do, but apparently, who who doesn't? Uh, somebody just asked what channel it is. It's Ben Phillips. That's who you're looking for. Uh, thank you for the donation there, John Wells. <laughs> ST, or Mike, ST and Mike, what's a good mech mod? I have the bestia, but would like another. Dreamer. Vindicator. Oh, Vindicator. Well, and the Dreamer. Dreamer's always a good one. Yep. Uh... Happy 2019 to you too, Mr. Pal702, and everybody on the panel. Uh, Johnny says, Vupu has sent stuff to an American vlogger as well. Uh, Cody? I've seen, 
like I've seen a bunch of videos from just random YouTubers, like whether it be like makeup videos or whatever, that look kind of young, and they'll be doing like reviews for vape products, uh, like Sample Box and a whole bunch of shit. Like they're out there. He's not the only one that's probably done it. There's probably quite a few of them. You know what else? Oh, <clears throat> thank you, Mister Lee, for the donation. Is Woody Vapes part of Vupu? Question mark. Happy New Year's, gentlemen. Happy New Year's. I don't know who is Woody Vapes. Uh, I think they have other mods. I'm pretty sure, don't they? Let me let me search one of them. Woody Vapes is Vupu. Oh, okay. Oh, Tom just said Vupu bought Woody Vapes. Oh, and by the way, this whole thing with the mod getting sent, I actually approved that. Get when I, went to Vupu. I thought it was okay, so. Oh my god, here we go. It's my first day at Vupu. I mean, I'm going to fuck up occasionally. Yeah. You definitely are uh, a good employee of theirs. I know that. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> oh god. No. I seen another question real quick. I'm trying to find. We're getting a little cluttered up here. Okay, shit. I can't find it now. Whatever. I. <laughs> You know what I've noticed, though, on YouTube lately? It seems like a lot of people that don't even do vape reviews or anything like that are just people that, I guess, might have been smokers that are vaping in their videos now, but they're not, you know, reviewing products or even relating their channel around vaping. It's just it's kind of funny to see nowadays. Yeah, I've seen that a few times. I've seen it on Chatterbait a few times. For vaping during their little shows. Yep. Oh, uh, you you know that very well too. I do. Yep. Uh, McMod I mean, Mike says Vupu and Taco Bell. Mark. I don't see nothing wrong with a a legitimate channel. If a if like Vupu or any vape company wants to sponsor a channel to get advertised, I don't see nothing wrong with it. Like every other company does it. Why can't vaping do it? But. You might want to stick to a channel that has a little bit older audience. Well, that's what I was going to say. You need to know what kind of audience their channel is looking for or who they're reaching out to. And I guess a lot of times you can just look at these channels and see what kind of uh, what age group of folks that they more or less reach out to. Yeah, and you know, like China, they don't look at your videos because we get emails all the time about reviewing products we have nothing to do with and they say oh we love your videos like well if you love my videos you know i don't review this shit no. they just look at the number they look at the subscriber count the view count and then they are you getting them. are you getting the one to review headlights for cars and shit like that <laughs> no i'm getting constantly from fucking china their uh, led headlights and all kinds of bulbs for for trucks and it's like what they love my channel they say <laughs> wow. yeah, obviously you haven't watched my channel I don't review that shit no, it's crazy uh, I know Rob is joking about this but he was asking Brian when the uh, video was going up for the dual top side I think he said in like two weeks yeah. yep in three weeks actually three weeks sorry about that there might be something uh, I don't know it pops up at random times so you might want to check the channel now and see if there's anything there <laughs> Uh, you said you're releasing another video tonight on the bottles? Yeah, after this show, I'm going to be uh, at finishing editing a up update video uh, and also a cleaning video. Sweet. And this is actually done, so I just have to edit it. Cool deal. Uh, when I was editing, I looked at my video, and I'm like, how the hell am I going to shoehorn in a 35-minute video and then add another you know, five-minute more to the end of it? So. Yeah. It's better to have topside dual cleaning and updating or something like that. You know what I mean? Have a separate. And this time it's really happening. So <laughs> I could see Mike smirking. <laughs> no, someone said, hey, Mike, they thought your Fush review was a headlight review. <laughs> that Fush mech mod that lights up. Hell yeah. Dude, wouldn't it be awesome to be a, a vapor who does traffic signaling for like a construction company and use your Fush to do it? Be like... Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, Sid wants to know, Brian, will there be a drop solo duel? <laughs> drop solo duel? 
drop solo duel the drop i well i think that's what he named the drop version two right yeah the drop side the drop side solo version three yeah too many drops and solos and tops and all that shit so yeah yeah uh, I'll tell you something. I've been enjoying the top side RTA. I it's love good, top, isn't it? The top fill on the RTA is fucking the best. Innovation at its finest. Mm-hmm. Who would have thought top fill RTA? Oh, it's top, I've, been, I've been filling it from the bottom the whole time. Top fill RTA, Mark. Get on it. I was filling mine in the uh, airflow control, but still looks pretty good. Uh, Dude, look, look how many RTAs and sub ohm tanks the top side influence with the top fill. <laughs> It's pretty amazing, isn't it? We know one of them that's coming out here in the next couple of weeks. Take it uh, away, Mark. The funny part is there's about 10 people that didn't think that was a joke, and they're probably <laughs> saying to everybody that you're taking it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Actually, the uh, the BTF CRTA is going to be a bottom fill. you got to remove four screws to fill it up. Why you have do to I remove believe that? Yo, he's got a fill he's got a fill port that's a post screw. You have to remove the post screw from the post <laughs> if it's a fill port. Mark's RTA comes with a cigarette. <laughs> Mark, that donation's for you. You want to read that? Uh, let's see. We got a donation from Pal702. Congrats on being jumped into the Bloods this New Year's, New Year's Fagan. Thank you. I was uh, jumped into the Bloods. How did that go for you, by the way? Pretty painful, actually. Dude, the only thing blood in your life is your asshole. I didn't know the Bloods have to beat you in and then rape you in. I got raped by at least 10 guys. And they were of African-American race because it is the blood. So, wow, wow it fucking was painful. I was bleeding out my ass for at least a good 12 hours. So but you, I'm now officially a Blood, so. You couldn't have said that on your show. You had to do it on this one. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> First white blood, folks. Lord. Notice I'm wearing red, so, yep. Oh, man. I hope to God no bloods are watching this because I'm dead. Mm-hmm. Speaking of all that, though, I did see a movie last night. I rang New Year in by sitting in the living room, eating and watching Netflix, <laughs> me and the missus. And uh, we watch that movie, White Boy Ricky. <laughs> <laughs> it just sounds like a good movie. It's actually a damn good movie. If y'all haven't caught that on Netflix yet, y'all definitely need to check that one out. Uh, My boy, Ricky. Fish says ST belongs to the Tango Blast gang. That is true. By the way, how did that run go today? I know you've been picking up illegals there for a while. <laughs> uh, anywho, the BTFC RTA comes with a $2 off coupon for Newports. There you is go. Is that true? That would be kind of cool. Like So that way, if you kind of quit vaping you can go back to smoking and save a few dollars that would be good uh damn it I seen the question there and I lost it again drinking them old E40 ounces there you go kid old E is fucking nasty you didn't drink that growing up as a little youngster we I remember me and my friend buying a 40 of old e, old e just because we kept hearing about old E. Like, so it must be good. So we bought it, and it tastes like shit. We didn't realize it was like the shittiest beer ever. No. Yep. Fucking nasty. Horrible. So, I know yesterday was kind of a, well, it was kind of a semi-sort of holiday, but did y'all get anything worth a damn on a Monday for New Year's Eve? I didn't get nothing yesterday. <coughs> nope, nope, nothing. Nope. No man. I got my new monitor for my camera. Really? Nice. Mark, you want to tell everybody you did uh, till 7 o'clock this morning? I was trying to purchase a computer monitor. I have some kind of like disorder where I can't buy something. I have to research it. Oh, that looks fucking awesome. Oh, that's the one we were looking at the other night that you were talking about. That is sweet looking. You had a chance to mess with it at all yet? Yeah, I actually hooked that up to my other camera just to see how it looks, the picture. Beautiful. Yep. Yep. My uh, new camera arrives tomorrow. Sweet. So tomorrow I'll be messing around with that, setting it all up. It's... 
it's about to be on bigger than shit at the uh, at the Mr. Vapes house. Hell yeah, we're bumping up production. Yep. Going to that next level. When this one comes with a filming crew, right? Are we still oh. kind of deciding right, on Steve that? Steve takes care of that. I got you. <laughs> so, Brian, I'm curious. Yep. I know you. I know you like the back of my hand. How long did it take to make that video? Actual work or mental work? Everything. Everything. Because <laughs> I know how meticulous you are about shit. It's not even the metic. It, 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 the meticulousness is not necessarily in the work that I do. It's in the, in the it's in the fucking head fuck that I give myself. Like I'm so in my head and so anxious that it takes you know two days, but it's not all day. It's a lot of like worrying and thinking and taking breaks and staring into the distance and pondering the meaning of the universe, getting sidetracked and watching something on how like <laughs> the world is a fucking, you know, multiverse. And then we're living in a computer program. And then I'm thinking about, you know, is the video even purposeful because I don't even exist. And, you know, all these deep <laughs> fucking mental masturbation things that <laughs> wow. with my head. Yeah. It's pretty fucked up. I wish I could just be present, but it's not easy for me. Not to mention after the holiday, trauma, you know, I call it trauma. Like when you have anxiety and you have to go to like multiple people's houses and you have an amazing person like my wife, but she doesn't allow you to just sit and not do things. Um, it helps me get out, but it also can be difficult and tiring. And um, the house is also under construction. So that's a lot of, a lot of shit going on. And, I, and I'm working still, so. Uh, Dashnet says it took him at least three hours to get that beard lined up perfect. I mm -hmm. kind of would believe that too. It is pretty straight there. Yep. <clears throat> with the money, with the money Brian makes, I don't think he shaves himself now. So. <laughs> yeah. Right. I was about to ask that the other day. Personal barber. I would think that probably one comes to the house. Yeah, I would think so. Yeah. Wow. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> By the way, too, I've been on a little campaign here lately. It's not much of one, but I like like it's been something, and i just seen her out there. What's your campaign? Campaign for tobacco-free kids? <sighs> that was one of them, but the other one was somebody that's kind of close to home to you. Amy Relish was seeking to hit over 2,000 on Instagram, and I noticed she did it. But we want to keep making that push. So y'all go over there and start following her on Instagram. She is paying me Brian's money to say stuff like that. So I'll be expecting the money here pretty soon. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you for the donation there, that one guy. Brian, did you record a teardown of the duel? I did not. There you go. Yeah, I did not. Uh... White Boy Rick isn't on Netflix. Is it not? Damn, I thought that's what we watched it on last night. I maybe thought we, Angela said it was on... Maybe I we watched it on something. That, I don't know. My wife had it going, so she started it. Maybe it wasn't. We weren't on Netflix then. Wherever we were, we watched it. Uh, Gregory Brown says, I don't do Instagram. Hold on. Hold on. Lil Wayne, Lil John. Now, you pumping out all those rap videos, and you don't have an Instagram? What the hell's going on here? I don't think he's allowed on Instagram. Did he get banned off of there? I think it has something to do with his, uh, his background. Well, it could be. He's got a record, so... Well, we didn't want to announce that to everybody, but <laughs> thank you very much. <laughs> Amazon Prime. Hey, if it's on Amazon Prime, that's a good shot. We, we might have watched it on that instead. Because I know my wife tends to uh, get stuff off of there once in a while. Hayes Town Vapes. What is going on? Happy New Year's to you. Our Canadian friends there. We love our Canadian friends. Yes, we do. Uh, Mark, do you know where Canada is? Uh, it's in Canada. Yep, you're right. Have you, ever, you. Been, have you ever been to Canada, Mark? Uh, it's next to Mexico, right? <laughs> I'm, I Actually, I go to Canada every night before I go to bed. 
Dude, wow. there's Mark's trailer park and then the rest of the world. Like, there's no just differentiation between anywhere else. I watch a show that's based in Canada. So, I feel like I'm in Canada. I will say, like, the show I watch, it seems like Canada is all, like, a bunch of alcoholics. Like, they're all drunks. Wow. Well, that just kind of... have, I watch this cop show, and it's all they're doing is just busting people that are intoxicated. Everywhere. You haven't watched the cops, right? <laughs> yeah, I watch cops. They're more cops is more like domestic violence. This other show is more like just everyone's drunk all the time. You know what I don't understand? You've pretty much taken a shot at every race in this world. How how you still <laughs> seem to be on social media <laughs> and not have a mark out on your head right now is <laughs> There we go, Strip Nine. Under arrest. Watch the show Under Arrest on Netflix, and you tell me that Canada does not seem like it's filled with a bunch of alcoholics. It just, that's what it seems like. Everyone's drunk. Well, hold on. Hold on. Is it alcoholics or just people that enjoy to drink? Uh, maybe it's just people that like to drink. I mean, because that, that's everywhere, so. I think it, they get pretty crazy on this show. Uh. Do, 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 do. Trailer Park Cop. The hell is that? Dude, that would be fucking sweet. Do y'all have, have a Trailer Park Cop show? No, we don't have one. Do y'all have like a little security dude that rides around in a little buggy around in y'all's no. area? That would be so cool, though. Dude, I would think if y'all did, you would actually be out there hanging out with him, just like shooting the shit. Yeah, that's what Chicago's got. Chicago's got heroin junkies. So we're more <laughs> about like drugs and addicts. Wow. I should just be quiet. <laughs> uh, Lord have mercy. Uh, how do you survive, Mark? That's a question from sure. Andy. I must be doing something, right? Because I'm still alive. Yeah. Sadly, I'm here. I think Mark, just since he really hasn't given his direct address to where he's at, and he never leaves... That's the only reason why he's able to do what he keeps doing, so... Well, see, I'm just speaking the facts. I'm not making up any of this stuff. All this is factual, so... And you can see it for yourself. Okay. Whatever comes out of my mouth is facts. <laughs> I don't make up anything, folks. No, not you by any means. Uh, Mark should drive around in a golf cart arresting people. That would be a fun job. Yeah, I think he wouldn't. He wouldn't do too well with all that. Uh, how has Batman not pimp slapped him? Well, they've only met once, and I think they're actually pretty cool. Hitting. I would feel bad. Uh, all right, Jennifer, I'll leave him alone, man. <laughs> uh, well. I think we've seen about all the questions we're going to see on the top side. Again, I don't have the retail version. I don't imagine it's going to be much different than what I have now. But uh, I, I have been one of the lucky ones to sit here and mess with this thing for the past couple of months. And i got to say, I know I've enjoyed it. Uh, but don't take our word on it. Hopefully other people will get them. Do the reviews and then, you know, go off what they say. Don't go off what we say. And uh, we'll go from there on it. Wow. Got folks shooting fireworks right outside? Or maybe that's gunshots. I don't know. That's a gunshot. Could be. Uh, thank you for the donation again there from Mr. Robert Young. He says, back in the day, we would have taken Mark behind the dumpster and beat him with a rubber hose. A rubber hose beating. Wow. Pretty... Look at him, he's getting hardened. Yeah. <laughs> he actually likes stuff like that. We might have to up the ante a little bit. How old is uh, Robert Young? He's That's... in chat. Why don't you ask him? I've never heard of like rubber hoses before. I mean, I've heard of like getting hit with dildos, but not like a rubber hose. Were you born in like, the, the 40s or something? Mm. I wonder if he's in the Chicago metropolitan area. He's probably yeah. right next door to me. <laughs> He's got his rubber hose. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Sounds like a good old rubber hose beating. 
Well, why don't we go ahead and do this? We got a few little giveaways to do. Mark, you want to do a little randomizing? Uh, we do rig these pretty good, so I kind of like to put this on Mark. He knows exactly how to do this. I got it. Did anybody actually party last night for New Year's Eve? Yeah, I'm curious to see that. I didn't. I actually watched wow. Dick Clark's Rockin' Eve. <laughs> wow. Without Dick Clark. Without Dick Clark, yeah. Yeah. I actually bought today, not yesterday, but today, a six-pack of beer. Wow. And I drank one beer out of the six-pack, and I was already asleep. Did, <laughs> uh, did Marcus get the rest of it? Yeah, he took care of it. Okay. You're a good father. <laughs> uh, Mike, did you go out? No, I stayed home. No drinking. Yeah. It's not safe to be out nowadays. Yeah. <laughs> when you're fucking sad. I know, man. I don't care to go out. I, I have no no will to leave my home. It's the best. It is. I can do whatever right. I want here. I stripped out of my underwear, got my t-shirt, ordered a pizza, sat on the couch, and just watched Netflix and ate myself to sleep. Dude, I started watching uh, Dexter again. Oh, awesome show, man. Dude, I fucking love Dexter, man. I've missed that show. I know. That would be good to watch it again. All right. So, first of all, again, thank you for our sponsors, Camelot and Brands. Uh, to get in on these, per sponsors, have to be a U.S. resident. Scott, we're talking about Dexter. I know. We'll talk about it here again in just a second. I'm trying to be very time-consuming because we have another show coming on after this. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, first of all, tonight from Brad's, we are going to be doing an Aegis Legend. Uh, Brian, why don't you give us a number? I don't, I don't know. What True Vapor show is it? 180. 180. 180 is the number I choose. There you go. Here we go. 180. Oh, you know what? I wanted to mention. I'll mention it in a minute. Remind me to mention about the the issue I had with the custom drip tips for this. This. Uh, yeah. Okay. I got a question. The winner is. I'm going to say it right. I think Conchi. C O N C H I. Conchi. Congratulations, Conchi. That's all it is, is Conchi? Conchi, C-O-N-C-H-I. I feel like I've heard Mark say that before on a show. I do, too, for some reason. It sounds familiar. It feels like yeah. he just said this the other night, so I don't I don't, I don't think it was it. Is, it one, is it. is that from the rig list? Uh, oh, yeah, I got the rig list loaded right now. Okay. Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> so, Conchi, you have won. Conchi. I was looking to see real quick. Mark, what is your feelings on Conchi? Is this U.S. or no? I don't know. It's feeling kind of like a kind of U.S.-ish. Okay. Like it's like a, a nickname he has for some reason. All right. Well. That's even if he's in. Oh, there he is. He says, yep. Yep. Okay. Well, hold your horses and we'll get to you in just a second. Next, from Camelot. We are going to be doing the exclusive reserve line from him. What Mark has been vaping on and doesn't know it for the past two years. So, Mike, can I get a number for this? Uh, since he did 180, I'll do 18. There we go, 18. Yeah, fresh off the fucking, off the boat. Here we go, 18, folks. Nobody. Eighteen. Yeah. Come on, you son of a bitch. Eighteen. Here we go. We got nobody. Let's do it again. Eighteen again. Hopefully, this person is eighteen. I believe this person is. Chris, get ready. Chris, how many Chris's are in chat? Probably a few. Yeah. Which one are you? <laughs> <laughs> Chris Price. Congratulations, Chris Price. You made it. You did it. All right. 
So, my two winners, all you need to do is contact me at stvapes72 at gmail.com. I need you to send me a photo ID with address, birth date, all that good stuff on there. And, you know, slide me a few bills underneath with it. It's all good. But contact me and we will get y'all set up. Again, congratulations to y'all. I think I did miss a donation there. Let me scroll back real quick and then I'm going to let Brian say what he had. Yes, Mr. Stephen Eagles. He says, could Conchi be Marcus? Mm. I don't think so. I don't think, he's that, I don't think he's that talented to do that. <laughs> so, Brian, what do you got going on with your... Uh, Orion over there. Um, I noticed that when I got... Uh, let's see. Where the fuck is that? Alright, so I, I had <coughs> one of the pods, the previous pod that was on my gold one, and the custom drip tips that I got from Signature Tips fit on that one. I got this new uh, silver Orion, and the custom drip tips don't fit on this one. Is the silver Orion the Q or no? No. Oh. It's still the old. I'm going to try is. it now. If the drip tips on the. I couldn't get the drip tips off, but it was pliers. Drip tip does come off. How do you get yeah, the I know. I, I, I took it off, Mike. I just couldn't. They changed. No, no, I'm just explaining because I couldn't get it off. I'm just saying now I could get it off. And I'm looking right now at both uh, of these, and they changed. They changed it. This is what I was worried about. They changed the pod mouthpiece? Yep. Mm. Because they made the airflow control ring, ring thicker with the knurling, they kind of uh, changed everything up. Does not fit. So the diameter has changed. Yep. Yeah, it's more of like coned on the inside down. <coughs> hmm. So is this on a new batch of the DNA version or on the Q? Well, it's on the DNA version because that's what I—that's where this pod came from. So there's a new batch of the. Oh, we're talking about the pods. What happened is they changed it. See, the original had that airflow control ring. Mm -hmm. No one has that airflow control. Ring. Oh wow, Harold. And that's that's not only the one ohm coils. That's all of their pods. They changed them up and put that trip tip on there, that style. So crazy. So I will not be ordering the tips now, Mike. LOL. Yeah, I actually placed an order. He hasn't sent to me. I actually have to cancel that order with him. Wow, he, he was just in chat too, but I'm certain he's gone by now. Yeah. Uh, thank you for the donation, our sick boy. Usually work Tuesdays. Glad to make a show. Happy New Year's, St. Mark, Mike, and Brian, and your families. Same to your brother. Happy New Year! Wow, that's. I'm glad y'all noticed that right there. That's crazy. They would do that. I wonder why they did change the pods up on them. Makes me think that maybe something else was going on with them. Oh, there he is, Mike. Signature he tips. Pops? Yep. Oh, because I'm, I'm messaging him right now. He said, shoot. <laughs> He's sending you a message there, Shake. Yep. Yeah, I can't take a chance. I don't know what pots people are going to have. Then People are going to complain. They don't fit. Yeah, that could get real nasty right there. Yeah. See, shit, when companies do shit like that, it sucks for other companies that make aftermarket products. Yeah. And they have all these aftermarket products that they can't use. Yeah. It all depends on stock, too. Uh, obviously, there's going to be old stock and new stock. Yeah. So whoever has old stock, those trip tips will work. But if you're getting a new stock of the pods with the new airflow control on it, those drip tips are different size. So your custom Orion drip tips will fit on it, which sucks. And, uh, so. Oh, what's going on, Mr. Isaac Sanchez? Happy New Year to you, brother. Azikos. Uh, 
Again, for the donation, that one guy, does it look like you can modify the SQ tip to fit? I don't know. I don't have one. Okay, he just told me to try something. I'm going to try it right now. All right. Well, we're going to extend this show by a few minutes to look at this. Did he say pop out the, in the inner metal piece? Yeah, he said to pop out the spindle and see if it'll slide. Let me see. Where is mine? I'm grabbing one right now. Okay, let's see here. That spindle should pop off. I think the spindle has O rings, so it should slide out. Let me get some tweezers. Okay, I got it out. Uh, thank you there, Miss Amy Relish, C E C E O. I'm not. We're we're leaving the C O O part. <laughs> Mess with you. Is that cool? Thanks for the help, S T. You're always welcome. Stand up, 3D. What's going on, brother? Did it fit, Mike? Okay, I just grabbed the wrong one. Oops. I don't want to break this though. We've got a quick experiment going on with some tips for the Orion, so stand by. Stand by. Stand by, please. <laughs> it, w it works, but. No tension. <laughs> Dude, mine's no, got to lost. Great. It's got good tension. It's like as if it was planned that way. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah? So it'll work. What's going to happen is I'm pushing this through. I'm going to end up stabbing my finger, I think. What are you doing? you got to pull it out. <laughs> Not push it through the other side. Good job, Brian. What did you pull it out with? Uh, tweezers? Yeah. All right. I'll work on this. So there you go. There's a there's the new pod with a drip tip. All I did was remove the metal spindle with the O-rings that he put in to size it up. But uh, it goes on. But it's I don't know. I have to use it to see if it's what do you call it through use liquid getting in between. If it slides off easy, it seems like it might be like right now there is tension where it doesn't come off. But I don't know if with liquid it'll happen. Maybe. Uh. I don't think anyone's going to be reviewing the Widowmaker RDA on this channel, or on this panel. Probably not. We're uh, not very Vanny Vape. No. Fans. From their shit list. Happy New Year there to you, Mr. Roy French, our okay. Hawaiian crazy man. Ooh. can make spindles to suit the newer pods. There you go. You heard yeah, it from, that's all he has to do. You heard it from Signature Tips himself. Yep. You, you're probably going to be hearing about this within the next week or two, so don't don't worry. It'll all be fixed here. It'll be right as rain. It'll be right as rain for all what, you what Orion lovers. What happens is the drip tip itself, that opening without the spindle is perfect it fits on there perfectly what i would do is make it a hair so it's a little bit tighter you don't even need the spindle in there my my fucking spindle's tight as shit what are you trying to do take the mine pulled out i just put the I, I'm using the clear one, the frosted one, uh -huh. and it's so tight, man. I mean, I'm I'm trying everything. Ooh, keep going. Ooh. All right, we're past. <laughs> we're past that eight o'clock mark. We will yeah. definitely be keeping you informed of what's going on with all this yeah. stuff. I'm but, gonna have a 24-hour marathon of me trying to get yeah. this fucking thing out, and what, then eventually I'll throw it. What Brian is gonna do? He's gonna show you how to clean the top side bottles and rig your Orion drip tip. So yes. be prepared for that video coming here pretty soon. Mike exactly. will also have a how to do it yourself video on it, 
and Mark will <coughs> steal all the ideas and create his own videos. So there you go. Thank you very much. We're out of here. You have a good one. Don't forget. Never heard of them tomorrow. Followed by the Vay Team on Thursday night, Vape Wives Saturday night, and then us. Well, I don't know about us. We really never came to a conclusion what we're doing this coming Sunday. Mark has never actually pushed out or emailed our contracts with the new price listing on there. So it might be just Mark doing it this coming Sunday. So, But with all that being said, Happy New Year to every freaking one of y'all. As always, thank you for the support. And congratulations to Brian, Mark, and Mike. They've all got new products coming out within the next day or two. Be ready. Uh, actually, I've got something coming out within the next hour. Yeah, it, you're, you're it, a dick. It's not a new product. <laughs> so thank you very much. We're out of here. Y'all have a good one. Peace. Let me see what camera I'm on. There I am. Y'all have a good one. Bye. Bye. Happy New Year, everybody. Happy New Year!